Order the question is that this bill be never read a second time. I call the honourable member for Leichhardt. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Uh, as, as elected uh, officials, we know what it's like to receive uh, hate mail, threats, and other verbal vitriol. It certainly hurts, uh, and it could be from people we know in the community, uh, or strangers from another part of, uh, of the country. It might be sparked by something that we've said or something that we've done, but the attacks can be personal, targeting how we look, uh, what we wear, and how we talk. But we're adults, and we know that there are ways to deal with this and find ways of, supporting, uh, of support to get through. Unfortunately, our children don't have that experience, and so they need our protection as parents, as politicians, and as a country to protect them from bullying. It's never been a simple task, but in a world, in a world before internet, kids uh, could escape bullying, even if it was just for a while in the safety of their own home. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. Our communication has moved from writing letters by hand to asking Siri or Katana to send a text on our behalf. We've gone from passive TV watching to actively engaging in real time with our favourite shows and we've gone from bullying being limited within the schoolyard to bullying continue as long as we are within reach of the internet. We've made, we made election promise to the children of Australia that we would act to better protect them from cyberbullying and to make our online world more uh, safer. It's a promise that I, as a father of an eight-year-old girl, hold very highly because I will do everything possible to protect her from any form of bullying online or in the real world. This, in, the, this Enhancing Online Safety for Children Bill 2014 is delivering that our promise to the ch to kids. One in five Australian children's, children are victims of cyberbullying. Kent State, State High School Guidance Officer Annie Jarrett told our local paper that she was dismayed by the number of young people who present with depression and anxiety symptoms at school. Sometimes their symptoms are so severe that they're unable to engage, that they are unable to engage and learn. She said that due to mobile phones and the internet, young people of risk of no longer having a private life. From my perspective, as the Chair of the Parliamentary Friendship Group for the L uh, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transsexual and Intersect Australians, I see and hear about the extent of bullying against young LGBTI people. In fact, you may remember in the early last year I outlined the findings of a new report entitled Growing Up Queer, in which I found two-thirds of young LGBTI people reported harassment or violence across different aspects of their lives. As a result, 16% of these young people had attempted suicide and 33% had harmed themselves. That survey is obviously only representative of one portion of the Australian population, but I use it to highlight that bullying isn't just a term, it's a real problem, affecting real people and has real, sometimes fatal, consequences. Coalition undertook an extensive public consultation process while in opposition and while in government to draft this legislation. In January last year, uh, we released a discussion paper asking for feedback on the uh, measures, uh, asking for feedback um, on the measures we had established to enhance online, online safety for children. We received over 80 submissions, Mr Deputy Speaker, from stakeholders, including community organisations, industry, education bodies, academics, legal representatives, government bodies and uh, individuals. The draft uh, of this bill was shared around 30 stakeholders and adjusted uh, based on their feedback. Our consultation process showed us that the best method to tackle the problem of cyberbullying was to establish a single point of contact for online safety issues, an authority to take uh, the lead uh, across government in impending policies, uh, in implementing policies to improve the safety of children online. This is pre precisely why this bill will establish a, child's, a children's e-safety commissioner, an independent statutory office within the Australian Communications and Media Authority. Although our government uh, does not uh, have a clear uh, deregulation agenda, uh, that doesn't mean we won't introduce new light-touch legislation if and when it's needed. In this case, because of the explosion of social media and the profound impact it's having on our children. 
The Commission will have, some ver will have very clear functions. Firstly, they will administer a complaint system for cyberbullying material targeted at any Australian child. If they receive a complaint of cyberbullying material targeting an Australian child, they will be able to issue notices to the social media service and the bully who has posted the material requiring that material to be removed. If the bully or social media service fail to act on the Commissioner's notice, there are several legal avenues that can be pursued, including civil penalties, enforceable undertakings, injunctions or referring the matter to the police. The Commission will take a national leadership role in promoting online safety for children. They will administer $7.5 million in funding for online safety programs in school and uh, $100,000 to support Australian-based research and information campaigns on online safety. The Commissioner will uh, coordinate activities of Commonwealth departments, authorities and agents relating to online safety for children. They will tackle, uh, in tackling this problem, will take all of us uh, working together, Mr Deputy Speaker. The Commissioner will, bring, will, Commissioner will bring together police, the internet industry, child protection organisations and parent and teacher associations to find solutions to make our kids more aware of online dangers. Finally, the Commissioner will uh, administer the online content scheme that was previously administered by the Australian Communications and Media Authority. They will have the power to issue a notice to a large social media service requiring it to remove content that is targeted at, an, at and harmful to an Australian child. Having a commissioner in this, uh, in this role to protect and educate our kids is so important in this fight against cyberbullying. This government is already looking to appoint somebody, someone into that position. And why, why is it because, uh, why, uh, because we are a government of action, of getting things done rather than constantly stalling uh, like, our, uh, like our previous government? This government expects to appoint the Child Safety E-Commissioner, uh, E-Safety Commissioner during the next few months even if it is uh, to be on an interim basis before the legislation is actually passed. I'm told a search process is underway for some positive candidates, and some positive candidates, Mr Deputy Speaker, have already come forward. Obviously, this bill is one of a facet of helping our children stay safe online. I'd also like to commend other initiatives being done, including the federal government's national cyber safety and cyber security education program Cyber Smart. The uh, Cyber Smart program uh, uh, is run by the Australian Communications and Media Authority as part of a commitment to cyber uh, safety. It is an invaluable co has invaluable content for young children, teens and their parents uh, to have a better understanding of cyber bullying on uh, si uh, uh, social uh, networks and privacy trolling and identity, uh, uh, identity theft. It is even uh, culturally appropriate content for our Indigenous friends and families uh, to be deadly online. And uh, as our uh, parliamentary uh, secretary for communication said recently, um, clearly the internet and social media are a central part of the lives of children and young people they bring, uh, that they bring up a new set of issues. Just like road safety and water safety or like educating kids about drugs and alcohol use and sexual behaviour, this is another set of uh, issues that kids need to be educated about. I'd also like to add Parliamentary Secretary helped launch another initiative just a few days ago, the eSmart Digital Licence. It was developed by Alana and Madeline Foundation as a, an ongoing, uh, an online challenge combining quizzes, videos, games uh, and games to prepare Aussie children over the year, uh, age of 10 uh, to be smart, safe and responsible digital citizens. And I have absolute admiration for the Alana and Madeline Foundation for helping our children in this area. 
and I'd give them extra credit for teaming up with Google, who has provided funding uh, to make this program available uh, ev uh, to every year six student in Australia, uh, from my my uh, northern, uh, north, far north uh, Queensland electorate of Leichhardt to the far southwestern electorate in Forest, uh, and I encourage all. Uh, teachers of grade six classes to go online and sign up today. Uh, I'd also like to, if I could, uh, Mr uh, Deputy Speaker, uh, in, in talking about this bill, to actually uh, just recognise the outstanding um, effort that the member for Forest has put into raising the issue of, of, uh, of online and cyber bullying. Uh, it's been a campaign that she has been relentless in pursuing now over a number of years and uh, has made herself available to travel around the country speaking to uh, school, groups of school children uh, uh, whenever invited uh, in, in very much assisting and supporting them in raising awareness in uh, de dealing with this challenge. And I, I think it's something that uh, the member, member for Forest needs to be congratulated on, and uh, something that she's been doing uh, for a long time before these issues have actually been brought into this chamber. So uh, I, I say congratulations to her for, the, for her efforts, and I'm sure that they have made significant difference to uh, young people's lives. We then say, well, why are we creating a central point, and uh, why do we need a commissioner to receive the complaints? when Australians could go directly to the social media business, whether it be Facebook or YouTube or Twitter. I say to you, Mr Deputy Speaker, the reason that we're doing this is because we just can't go to these people. We've commissioned research from the, New, from the University of New South Wales Social Policy Research Centre and found that social media and other service providers are unaccountable, they are reluctant to take down offensive material and are often slow to respond to requests, uh, even from the police. And I've had personal experiences there myself in my electorate where there is a, a very offensive uh, uh, website called hillbilly.com and uh, in spite of uh, or, and, and, and some of the material that is on it is just absolutely offensive and uh, it is uh, blatantly untrue and in, in recent times they've even been targeting the children of some of public officials there. Uh, yet uh, there are all sorts of efforts trying to get Google to deal with this. The problem with this one is that as, as, as one go, is shut down, they tend to open another one. So there's clearly uh, there needs to be uh, uh, there's been numerous submissions describing instances where cyberbullying material wasn't removed, and even after being reported uh, to the social media site. And that's why I think we need to step in with legislation. Something as insidious as cyberbullying, something that is uh, damaging to the mental health of so many of our young people, needs a central point for all Australians to go to for help. And if a social media site doesn't act, then, Mr Deputy Speaker, I believe that we must. This bill uh, establishes a two-tiered scheme. If a social media service has volunteered to participate in Tier 1, the Commissioner can issue a notice for them to remove material. It won't be legally binding. But if the site repeatedly fails to respond, they, they, are moved to tier two, they are moved to Tier 2. If a large social media service is in Tier 2, it is legally required to respond to the notice. Having the Tier 2 system will minimise the burden on social media services that cooperate while putting in place a strong government response to those who fail to work with us to protect our kids against online bullying. Mr Deputy Speaker, I have, as I said earlier, I have an eight-year-old daughter and I know many of my, my members here have children or even grandchildren and we do everything that we can to protect them from danger. This Enhancing Online Safety for Children Bill 2014 is our way as a government of sending a loud and clear message to the community. We will fight cyberbullying and do everything we can to make the internet safer for Aussie kids. We can't stop bullying from happening. It's unfortunately a very sad part of life. But we can protect our children by creating a system that will ensure cyberbullying material is taken down from social media first. We can't stop people from being horrible to others online, but we certainly can show that our government is serious about responding quickly and effectively against these online threats to our